thousand kilometer in a day it sounds more like a quest than a ride doesn't it especially in india where challenges like bad roads heavy traffic exist in abundance however the motorcycle i plan to do it on the super meteor 650 it is meant to munch long long miles while keeping the rider comfortable and comfort is the key word here you see any given motorcycle can gobble up 1000 kilometers however only select category of bikes warrant a pampering ride instead of a butt soaring or a back breaking one and cruisers like the super meteor fall in that category so to test the super meteor's metal in the true sense i plan to head out on a 1000 kilometer ride or a quest if you will and i intend to do it in a single day after that will i ever want to do it again if yes then that will be the true testament of super meteor's touring ability before setting out on the ride the super meteor 650 needed its first service as it had surpassed 1000 km on its odometer this also meant the motor had to be topped with fresh engine oil now considering the nature of this test synthetic oil was a wise choice you see engine oil is considered to be the life blood of a motorcycle it is one of the most crucial elements for the engine to function at its best and have a healthy life munching 1000 km in a day is going to put relentless stress on the engine of the super meteor it will be working overtime at higher speeds and considering the weather is going to be hot at this time of the year yes overheating it could happen so for the engine to tackle all these challenges efficiently synthetic oil is the way to go then follows a night of sleep deprivation induced by the excitement i feel before every special ride after a few hours of forced sleep i mount my tail bag on the super meteor and thump the starter the twin cylinder rumble disrupts the deep silence of dawn melodically a few quick maneuvers through the city lanes and i'm cruising down the highway in a riding position that's deeply relaxing however i keep my pace low as the bike's headlamp doesn't light up the road far enough for me to go fast i mainly rely on the street lights and other vehicles about 70 kilometers of low pace cruising and i come across the first ghat section the air is comfortably cold the sun has partially risen and the curves ahead are super smooth i can't hold myself back from gunning the super meteor through these twisties and enjoying the composure and stability it offers around bends it is not the lightest steering bike but neither is it a slouch the curves go by even before i realize it as the sun rises i'm greeted by the morning commuters on the highway now With no visibility restrictions, I dial up the pace and maneuver through the traffic fast yet gracefully, enjoying the bike's tremendous mid-range torque. I and the Super Meteor literally salsa our way through the traffic in perfect sync and reach the second set of twisties where again a cornering nirvana ensues. Except for being tossed around on the seat over patchy sections, the first 200 kilometers are done in the blink of an eye. This calls for the first break to treat myself to my favorite masala chai. Piping hot chai. I think this is one of the best parts of such long rides, you know. So, I've completed over 200 kilometers till now and uh, to be very honest, it just didn't feel like so many kilometers went by. It has been a breeze so far to say the least. So, I got two ghat sections with uh, long sweeping corners and some hairpins. and thanks to the good handling of the super meteor it was all very easy and uh, seamless and uh, between these two ghat sections i also got a long highway section with uh, some crowd of uh, morning commuters but as i said because of the good handling uh, switching lanes quickly was not a task on the super meteor at all so now that the rhythm is set and me and the super meteor are getting along really well let's see how the proceeding kilometers turn out to be The following 200 kilometers offer a six-lane highway 
but more traffic now. Nevertheless, the Meteor 650 keeps shining with its low speed handling and engine tractability. For the most part, I cruise along between 60 to 80 kmph in fifth gear without downshifting much, treating it like an automatic. Adding to the convenience is the front brake which offers tremendous bite and lever feel. Courtesy of the more than anticipated traffic, I am running about 45 minutes behind the plan. Nevertheless, a hungry stomach and a slightly sore bottom demand a snack break. So about 400 kilometers into the ride and I am running about an hour behind the schedule. So I stopped to quickly grab a bite and get going because sun is getting hot now. It, as of now, it is uh, hot to bearable levels but it will get hotter as hours pass by. And uh, as for the motorcycle, I have been really liking the engine performance, the torque delivery uh, when I am at 80, 90 or even 100 kmph overtaking bigger vehicles is uh, very easy. It's just a matter of rolling on the throttle a bit. But uh, to point out some issues, I found some undulating, uh, undulated sections on the highway where the motorcycle felt a bit unsettled. It, the, the ride quality felt a little busy. So I just feel if it would have been a little more planted, things would have been much better. And uh, another issue is with the cushioning of the seat because my backside is already sore now. And uh, it's just been 400 kilometers that I've been riding. 600 kilometers more to go. And I'm really curious to know if this thing gets worse or uh, not much. Let's see. Now, the traffic eases up, giving me an unblemished view of the smooth asphalt ahead. I start feeling the Super Meteor coming into its element. The laid-back ergonomics exude a sense of strange relaxation backed by the profound ease the engine shows at 100 kmph. All of it feels effortless and meditative. Except for the intermittent bouncing on the seat over mildly wavy sections, thanks to the slightly stiff rear suspension. Also, the soreness of my backside increases, but not to uncomfortable levels. I approach Dharwad after 550 kilometers and a single lane crowded highway greets me with a lot of crosswinds caused by the fast moving oncoming trucks closely passing by. While the Super Meteor keeps swaying a bit, the bike's heft prevents it from shaking uncontrollably. Also, despite slowly trudging along in traffic for a long time, the engine shows no signs of stress or heat. Also, the weather gods thankfully show some kindness by not cooking me under scorching sun that day. Before proceeding ahead, it's time for the second fuel stop of the journey. After topping up the 15.7 litre tank of the Super Meteor, I calculate the mileage it has been returning. 27 km to a litre. That's impressive, considering the mileage I had received after my CT test run that was close to 24 kmpl. Now, as my and Super Meteor's bond nurtures, the best part of the ride starts beyond a city called Hubli. The road is a wide and slick six-lane strip of asphalt and is flanked by tall palm trees and vast green fields. Now, I am seamlessly cruising at 100 to 110 kmph, humming my favourite songs and taking a good look at the landscape around. While I am engrossed in this euphoria, my backside continues to get sore. Seeking a quick relief, my legs reach out for the pillion pegs and I stand up on them. Besides the curious stares from fellow motorists and the feeling of imitating a monkey, this riding position acts as a respite for my aching bottom and lower back. For a while, I also stretch out my legs and rest the calves on the pegs. Nifty solutions, aren't they? But then, I spot a huge banyan tree amidst a vast barren land overlooking numerous windmills. I instinctively take the service road, pull over under the tree and indulge in a much needed breather. After clicking a few pictures and hydrating myself, I get on the road again. However, another beautiful vantage point lures me into pulling over after riding barely for 50 kilometers.
as I told you before, I'm still running about an hour behind the schedule and there's 300 kilometers yet to cover to reach my destination. But then how can you stop yourself from enjoying this view? And after all, the Super Meteor is a cruiser and cruising doesn't necessarily involve chasing kilometers or your destination. Isn't it more about living and enjoying the journey? I'm doing that for sure. As I see dusk ensuing after 700 kilometers, all the small problems I had been facing get more intense. I start spending more time standing on the pillion foot pegs, seeking relief from the increasing pain in my backside and lower back. Moreover, despite the windscreen extender being in place, heady winds hitting the top of my helmet and shoulders keep adding to the fatigue. Mine and Super Meteor's romance starts fizzling out a bit. By sundown, I surpass the 800 km mark and the lack of throw and brightness from the headlamp is just adding to the inconvenience. All of this is accompanied by increasing traffic as I get closer to Bangalore, my destination. I rip the Super Meteor through the Bangalore traffic in desperation to reach the hotel. After an arduous and unforgettable 20-hour ride, I reach the sojourn and breathe out a huge sigh of relief. Well, this was tiring, but equally fun at the same time. Now coming back to the main question which I asked in the beginning, will I ever do this again? A thousand kilometer ride on the Super Meteor 650 in a day? Well, I would not. I would rather choose to do 800 kilometers maybe. Because all the problems which I faced during the initial 800 kilometers got really intensified towards the last 200 kilometers. And what were these problems? I'll get to that in a bit. But first the positive bits about the bike. The engine. It's truly a gem of a mill. Well, it's smooth, it's refined and it's really torquey. You are sitting at 90, 100 or even 110 and you just roll on the throttle and you can easily overtake all the vehicles on the road. And uh, so it allows you to actually be lazy with gear changes. You don't need to downshift every time you want to overtake vehicles. And then the overall riding triangle. Now since uh, it gives you a typical cruiser kind of uh, riding triangle, which means you are sitting like you are sitting on a sofa, on a couch, which is extremely comfortable. I like that bit. And then the brakes. Brakes were another highlight for me on, the, on this entire ride because the front brake especially didn't show any sign of fade uh, the entire day. Good bite, great progression, just the way I like it. Now coming to the problems. Now first bit was my bottom had started getting sore after about 450-500 kilometers but not very discomforting but after 800 kilometers it was a problem. And then the ride quality. The Super Meteor gets stiff suspension so the motorcycle is unsettled even through mild undulations on the highway or let's say while going through road joints and after 750-800 kilometers uh, my lower back and my core had started aching a bit and then the wind blast issue. I was already not happy with the stock windscreen so I used the extender but despite using that uh, wind was really brushing my shoulders and uh, the top of my helmet so because of that fatigue was getting induced. But now the fact that I am willing to do about 800 kilometers ride on the motorcycle is a testament in itself that Super Meteor 650 is a comfortable motorcycle. And do note that we uh, planned this entire route in such a way that we get good roads, smooth, wide open highways. Had it been a uh, little rougher with bad patches on the road, maybe it would have been a little more difficult and maybe a little more comfortable on some other kind of motorcycle. But then. Whatever problems, let's say the stiff suspension, uh, this is a typical cruiser kind of trait, you know. Uh, cruisers have stiff suspension, especially with the Super Meteor with the low ground clearance. Uh, had the suspension been too soft, the underbelly would have scraped every now and then. And on a personal note, I was never a big fan of cruiser motorcycles, but this ride changed that for me. There were certain uh, 
phases during the entire journey that i was in a true nirvana the ride felt so surreal you are sitting so comfortably on the motorcycle with your hand and legs outstretched i was humming my favorite songs inside my helmet i was looking around enjoying the landscape so this is one big change that happened after after this ride that i started liking cruisers so super meteor 650 i feel is one of the best values out there in the market if you are on a lookout for a cruiser motorcycle especially uh, something that is affordable if you are ready to pay way more you can go for let's say triumph bonville or uh, harley davidson or even bmw r18 but those are really exorbitantly priced motorcycles whereas a super meteor under 5 lakh rupees what better can you get if you are looking for a cruiser so that's all from my side for this video uh, do not forget to like and share and subscribe to our channel and if you want some more interesting stories coming out based on the super meteor 650 do stay tuned to our channel